Hello, everybody, and welcome to Tuck Talk. Yes, this yes. is our second episode. Can't get rid of us that fast. Nope, not at all. Okay, so what are we going to be doing today? Oh my gosh, a Drag Race Canada has arrived. Oh yeah. I am so excited. So we are going to look at the first episode of Drag Race Canada. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I think just to let everybody know, I mean, we we can say whatever we want because we ain't on the show. So uh, obviously it's easy. But kind. We but kind. Being kind. Yes. I mean, yes. Maybe. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. Mm -hmm. No, we're super excited. So it aired. Drag Race has now come to this beautiful country. Um, and now it's time for us to judge. Judge <laughs> or observe and give our opinions. Yes, well, that. Yes. yes, we are going to bring to you a little coverage of the first episode ever of Drag Race Canada. Yes. Oh my God. I'm, I'm, actually, it's well, Canada's Drag Race. Canada's Drag Race. Get Canada's that right. Drag race. Canada's Drag Race. Yes. I'm so excited. But before we do this, I miss Gloria Hole and the one and only <gasps> Mina Mercury. Hi. We're so excited. We are. We yes. are so excited to be here. You crazy bitch. We're going to have some fun today. Well, yeah, and I just got my hair done for the show, so let's do it. Now, before we begin this fabulous, glamorous coverage of Canada's Drag Race, we need to acknowledge that we are on the unceded territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh Nations. Yes, honey. Yes, yes, thank you. And it's starting! Oh, there we go! Oh my goodness. Oh, um, hello. I love the clean. I love the it's the beautiful. Ooh. Oh. There she is. Who she be? She be question mark. Miss B. Miss Priyanka. Priyanka. Hi, girl. I Priyanka. I love it. From the Toronto, Ontario. I love it. Now, wait, how did she have that question mark stay in place? Is it in know. her mouth? Maybe. Maybe she was biting it. <laughs> She's very excited. Look at her. I her, know. Look at her. Her pea earrings. Oh her pea jewelry. She's so skinny. She is branded. She's beautiful. Oh. Beautiful. Looks great. It must be so nerve wracking. It's like, what would your first outfit be? I know. And she's the first girl ever yes. to come in yes. to the workroom yeah. for Drag Race. So no pressure. No. Oh. Here she is, our oh. very own. Ilona! At this entrance, I love that she did her I party know. girls. I love it. It's so good. She looks gorgeous. Look at her. Oh, I love her. Monochromatic. Oh, yes, honey. Yes, doll. Stunning. She's gorgeous. You know, that nose ring. <laughs> for days. Nose ring for days. It's the right size that you can still see her mouth through. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Doesn't take away from the face at all. Mm -mm. I love it. Absolutely stunning. Bonjour, bonjour. Oh, wee wee. This is Kiara. Look at her. We love Kiara. Kiara is so sweet. She is a Montreal girl. Yes, I love her makeup. Yes, it's gorgeous. Stunning. The blue hearts. Yeah. I mean, if I look skinny like that, I'd probably look like that too. Probably oh, skinny. Totally. Yeah. Yes. Oh. She's great, actually. She, she mixes very... right in with the background too. <laughs> Where did she go? <laughs> Where are you, girl? Um, so I believe this is Juice Box. Juice Box. Yes, with her wings, girl. Yes. She's so cute. Look at her. Fly away. Yes. See, I don't know if this would have been the outfit I would have chosen to be the first one. No. Like, uh, I don't know. Maybe wings. the wings need to be bigger. I know. She's like the angel of the movie. She looks gorgeous. She does. Like, She's beyond stunning. stunning. But I feel like it's a lackluster outfit. Don't come for me, girl. I love you. I love everything you do. I love what you're looking like. I just feel like, I don't know. Oh, and the poor Maybe. thing got stuck. Oh, this was hilarious, though, when she couldn't get her. Like, Alona's like, just rip it. Just rip it. it. Just rip it. it. Oh, look, look at this. this. Honestly, see, this is an outfit. This is gorgeous. This is like an attention grabber. I'm here. And I'm queer. Pink hair, don't care. I love it. She's gorgeous. This is Anastasia. Yes, she is gorgeous. I can't say her name. I can't say her name forever, but <laughs> you know what? You got my vote. She's gorgeous. Yeah. Stunning. She's, this one is a title queen. She carries like a whole yeah. wackadoodle of titles. So good on her. Good on her. 
I love the Alona's like, then why do you need drag race? I know, right? You got enough of those. Let me have drag race. Uh, You've got all the other ones. I love it. Oh, yes. and lemon. Yes. Like, this the, is incredible. This, this is Rihanna's is outfit. This reminds me of Rihanna's outfit. Remember she did this big, um, at the the Met? Yes. 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 Yeah. A bit longer, I think. Was it was way bigger, I feel. Like. I think it's gorge. I mean, this it's is big enough. But it's how cute. did she, like, pack that? I don't know. Like, I have no on. idea. And so, I, I love that she's wearing a lemon shirt. Yes. Like, she's just, you know. She's so branded, this one. I remember when we went to DragCon New York. Yeah. Uh, we went to a show at a bar. Was at she one there? Of the and she was performing. And she was so good. Oh, my I'm God. I'm so sorry. Somewhere. I don't remember. You didn't come. Oh, well, that's You weren't invited. Wasn't, uh, wasn't memorable. <laughs> oh my god, I love but it. She's I so love gorgeous yellow. and she's funny as yeah. hell. Oh my god, yeah. I remember she was so funny. I love this, but this is an entrance. I love this. <laughs> totally I don't know entrance. where she, yeah, she all stuck on everything. Yeah. Oh, she said, okay, it. I'm here now. I love it. Okay. And oh, it's Scarlet Bobo. The one and only. Look at her, like, hey. yes. She had quite the entrance. I love it. She's just, she walks into a room and everywhere goes. It draws Ugh. attention, right? She's I love incredible. it. Stunning, the hair is her. so Scarlet Bova. She's like right on brand. Yeah, this is me. I love it. Look at, she's so excited. I know, she, all her queens from Toronto. There's all so many sisters. queens. All eight. This. Eight from Toronto. Eight from the Toronto. A, a lot of queens from Toronto. The Oh, and here is Kine, the amazing Kine. So this is another outfit that I'm kind of like, meh. I love it. It's I very, just don't think it's your first outfit. It's very cruel. Yeah, very. I love it, but I just don't know if it's your first outfit. I, I know. I always think, what would I wear if I was come walking in on this right? moment? I think it would be probably wear nothing. Huge. No, it'd have to be like over top, like over the top. Yeah, look at her. She's so excited. Maybe if the hat was bigger. I don't know. Oh, like very like ascot. Yeah, yeah. Oh no. my goodness. This is hilarious. <laughs> like, have we She's ever so seen amazing. this in Drag Race history? Somebody walking out <laughs> dressed as a cow. Dressed as a cow. <laughs> but she's got a flying saucer on her I head. I know, like, it's so... It's just like, I love it's it. It's fantastic. I love it. I love it so much. This is Boa. Boa. Who is bitch on arrival. Yes. And she arrives all right, yes. honey. She walks in there like... And I'm glad to see that there's a comedy queen. It's so yes. important. Yes, yes, yes. She is utterly the funniest. Yeah. I adore her. Look at that. <laughs> but she looks great. She does. I don't she get the so spaceship good. thing. She's like a cow going... Isn't there it's that space. movie I think where the aliens and they were killing, they were shooting the cows? <laughs> I don't remember. Space Invaders. Oh, oh Rita. yeah. See, this is an outfit, honey. Oh. This is yes. Oh, I love so this. So this is Rita Baga. She is literally the queen of Montreal. Amazing. Pretty much. She's like the top. She is fantastic, and she is so kind and nice oh. and. She's just incredible. I can't say enough about it. She's one of my friends. She's she my friend, but call me, honey. We'll be friends. But she's fantastic. And she's one of, to me, she's one of the most polished. Yes. Like, I agree. Polished. I agree. Well, some of these queens have only been a queen for two years. Where Rita's Which been around good. the block. So she's... Around the block. <laughs> yeah. She's been a, around a while. Mm. But not too long. As she said, she's like, uh, they call years. me a legend, but I don't like it because I'm not that Right. <laughs> right. So Rita Bega started the virtual drag show. Yes, she did. That is where we, um, when we brought it to the West, it was Rita created yeah. it for the East. Oh, um, this is like, what is this? This is Jimbo. And Jimbo is actually from Victoria, where I yes. am from. Yes. I love and I think I've slept with Jimbo. Jimbo is incredible. Oh my God. It's just so out there. I love it. Yes. Like who, this is like, this is like uh, Sasha Velour level. This is yeah. like, um, it's something. Oh, it's, it's just it's something. Jeez. We'll see how, how it progresses. That's yes. all I'll say. We'll, we'll see, see how it progresses. Cause it's, it's a lot of fun, but 
Look, but the thing is, is that Jim is known, Jimbo yeah. is known for these crazy looks. And as he says, it's people come to see Jimbo in a show yeah, because well, they want it, they want to see what he's going to do. Totally. Yeah. I can totally see that. It's shock And here she is, yeah. ladies yes. and gentlemen. Looks like a million dollars. I know me, yes. Faye. Yes, yes, honey. Couldn't be Drag Race Canada. Canada's yes. Drag Race without. Without Tangle. Yes, no gorge. As, as you watch these queens come into the room, you must be shitting the brick a little bit, you know? I think so. Your sphincters tightening up. They're like, oh, thinking, oh, crap. <laughs> No, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's true. Like, if you were sitting there and you actually, and you know of these queens and you know their their history and their talents, then they walk in and you're you're just like, oh, like reality sets in. You're going to have to work. I look a bit worried. A bit. Yeah, like a little. So now we have RuPaul's message, uh, which RuPaul makes this uh, appearance in our little drag drag race here. I wish she was there, but that's okay. We'll take a video. Exactly. Why not? She acknowledges them. They're so excited that uh, RuPaul is mentioning that, you know, the the queens of the north and everything. And it's exciting. Because it's family. And he says that. Yeah, so which it, is so important. It really validates the feeling when they're there. I'm sure yes. that, like, oh my yes. god, we've done this, we've made it exactly. Yeah, and I mean, RuPaul just looks stunning as usual, mm. just like Gloria. Yeah, <laughs> just taught like... RuPaul everything <laughs> she knows <laughs> exactly. Now we are introduced to the judges. Oh, we have Stacey, Stacey McKenzie, supermodel. Look at her work at her. She is gorgeous. And then Brooklyn Heights. We got Butch Brook Queens here. North. Butch Brooklyn. That's right. And, and Jeffrey, Jeffrey God. God. Oh my God. Lord he Jesus. Is something else. Yeah, Let Lord me Jesus. tell you, Ken. Yeah. Call me. I know. Give me. You know. Oh, oh. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. But it must be so exciting. Like, you're in a workroom, the judges are there, you just had RuPaul But do you think they tell them? Okay, cheer now! Oh, maybe. You know, like, maybe, maybe not. They must have, like, a full stock of Red Bull on that set. (laughs) Totally. (laughs) It must be very nerve-wracking for Brooklyn, though. Because, you know, she's filling some big shoes. Yes, she's not Mm -hmm. RuPaul, and she's not taking RuPaul's uh, spot. However, she is the first drag queen judge. Oh, to totally. RuPaul. So, I mean, this is this is big. They are all ready for their first challenge, and their first oh, challenge... Look. Juice box that would look like she's going to cry. Their first challenge is a photo shoot, which is totally reminds me of, like, back to the old, old, yes. original It's episode. like RuPaul season one. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Except you get $100,000, <laughs> which you didn't get $100, on season one. Right? And here we are. Yes. The opening challenge, the first challenge is a photo, which is like a throwback to the old uh, yes. original uh, episodes where they had to go in. Remember the one where they had to jump into tank of water yes. and like, like, have the best photo? Oh my God, yeah. or watch the cars. Yeah. So they've got uh, a photographer and he's going to take some snapshots of the girls. Uh, climbing the mountain. In heels. In heels. In heels. Uh, taking a flag up to the top and then posing for a glamorous shot. Oh, right. But, then, but, but the trick is there's a cold snap. There's a cold, cold, cold okay, was snap. It? No, wait, do I get one more right? Cold, cold snap. snap. <laughs> they must have rehearsed that a lot. I know, right? Yeah. Clearly. Oh, here we go. Cold snap. Oh, oh we missed it. Okay, ready to do it again. Cold snap. <laughs> Here she goes. Oh my god. Apparently Look at her. she loses a nail right yeah. out of the gate. Like, Our this lovely is so Alona. crazy. I love how she they is. have the crash mask. Did you notice that? Yeah, on the front. That's like, I wanted to see someone fall. Oh, there she goes. And she's and stripped she's like, right away. Classic Alona. She's yeah. got to change the outfit. Yeah. We got we to switch this up. Yeah. I'm going to be like. And look at her it. shoving that pole up her. Look at that. Up her shoving hole. the pole into her. She's shoving the her pole nose in her hole. And the fan starts. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, fuck. And this is where it gets so good. They, all of them are just like, yeah. ah! Oh, my God. Look at her. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Alona, girl. You can do it. I couldn't imagine. Oh, my God. Thank God she glued her hair on. Can you yeah, imagine? Can you imagine? The photo, though, look at that. Gorgeous. Phenomenal. I will say every single 
a photo of the girl. I loved all of them. I, I really did. did. No, I I'll get to it. I'll tell you. The one, I, there's Priyanka. One that, here's Priyanka. She's the, when the fan comes on is yeah. the best. This is the money this shot. This is amazing. Look Ready? It. Oh yeah, my look god! Look at this. That's... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at her. She can't even keep her eyes open. I know. Look at her. And then she's Ooh. like, "Go with Bobo now." Yeah, Bobo's like, "I got this." She's like, "I could do this." I got this. Look at her. She's there. like, "Yeah." Oh my gosh, that was a real Louboutin. Yeah. Probably. Here she is, she and she is just yeah, oh! Look at her. <laughs> yeah, she's oh and my favorite yeah. line of this whole thing. Yeah. Her tuck is separate teeth. <laughs> <laughs> good one, Brooke. That was good. I love that, that Brooke. Good. Oh my god, it's so funny. Oh, this is a struggle. This she's is Kiara. I mean she's Kiara. so freaking thin. But the photo is amazing. Off. Gorgeous like, look photo. At them just walk yeah. down like it's easy peasy. Oh, look at this. This is on the stars, yeah. Oh, look at her. A poor thing. She's <laughs> just like a pageant queen. What? <laughs> they don't know that in the pageant. Look, look at her. her. <laughs> she got, she got a blow or something. Like that. Oh, look at it. Amazing. They are, though. Yeah, it's really Tainomi good. is as tall as That's the flag. Like, Tainomi's <laughs> not even trying. Like, it looks like, yeah, I got this. Look at her. She's like, I've been in a windstorm. Like, her hair is not even moving. Exactly. Oh, here we oh, go. Oh, here is Boa. Bitch on yeah, arrival. Yeah, that's right. Look at her. What did she? She climbed that thing. She didn't even know what she's doing. She's just doing her thing. Look yeah. at her. Oh, Jesus. She almost knocked her saucer <laughs> off. <laughs> but the photo is to die for. It's awesome. It's like classic boa. Oh, I love oh, Lemon. Now, in my opinion, I feel like Lemon's photo should have won. Well, let but me get to that in a second. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I love the eyelashes. Eyelashes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my. I love it. I can't even imagine. But, like, you know that. But yes. look at that. Phenomenal. That's my favorite. Phenomenal. Kine and yes. Kine is. She is working that. Yes. I mean, funny. she matches yes. the checkered flag. Hey, look, she's like. <laughs> but she's got all the snow in her mouth. <laughs> she got a. A mouthful. She got a load in her mouth. Oh my god, I can't. Look at her. Oh, she's so oh, small in this though. She's just like she's eating it. Victoria's Secret is in the Rocky. Mountain. I think that's the problem Gorgeous. though. Is it's too much she's Victoria's crazy. Secret. But oh god, oh, <laughs> this is a classic falls. Gloria move right there. Oh my god, she literally. Honey, falls. we all fall. We all. Oh, fall. and Jimbo. Oh, Jimbo. I love Jimbo. But you know what? I love that he, that. She's always in character. Yes. Yeah. Look at the little, like, Woody outfit <laughs> that so looks like a Toy Story. Oh, Look at her. Oh, this is easy. I thought this was going to be hard. Yes, I got this. You wait, girl. Wait for that win. Yeah. She wins for the funniest. Yeah. She, but look at her. She like just fall loses it. <laughs> look at the judges. She's just like, <laughs> but, like, she just, I just oh, love it. I think I so peed a fun. little. <laughs> so good. Oh, oh and her God. photo in the end is it's just like her crotch. Yeah. Crotch yet. No, that's a photo to keep. Yeah. That's a Christmas card. And photo. She's like, oh. Oh, All right, goodness. so now okay. we have the introduction of the challenge. Challenge. And they announced the winner of the, the mini first challenge. Oh, the first. and there okay. it is. Okay, wait. I can't. I don't think that was the best photo. Mm -mm. But way to go, Kai. Yes, Give congrats. It up Kai. That's great. The first challenge first of challenge. the first season of Canada's Drag Race. In her story, girl. In her story. Yeah. Let's talk some tea here. Who do you, which photos did you like and which ones did you not like? I, honestly, I love them all. I did like them all. They were all very different. Did. I know, but you're the shady one. So we'll let you have the shade. And I'm just going to say, I thought they were all great. But my favorite, uh, I think, was I Love Lemons. It was so prestigious, and she was, like, on a mountain, yeah. and it literally, she was on the rock. Because she had that big carpet behind her. Exactly. I loved it. And anyway, um, you. Yeah, that's a very good question. I I liked, I thought Priyanka's was good. Mm -hmm. I thought there were just a lot, I thought they were all better <laughs> than the one that won. I just all I have to say is I think maybe that was a miss. Maybe. So their first challenge, uh, they have an assortment of boxes inspired by different places throughout Canada. There's like a Quebec box and a 
the Glampede and and all different the the Yukon Gold Box and um, mm -hmm. so and but because our lovely kind one she gets to pick who gets what box. Mm. So was she shady or was she careful? The bitch was shady. She said she was shady. She did actually. She said that she heard yeah. people saying what they wanted and she chose the option. However, she gave Rita Vega the best box for Rita Vega. But I wonder why she was like, oh, Quebec box, let's give it to the queen from Quebec. Yeah. Because like obviously they're going to be able to create something fantastic. Yeah. So I think that was a bit of a miss there. Yeah. It was a great mix because Rita, yeah, knocked it out of the park. So, yeah, and there we go. Quebec fraud. <laughs> Quebec fraud. It's almost a little too make fun of Canada. I love it, though. I think you it's do, great. Right? Why not? Why well, not make it campy and, I mean, it's drag. And why not have fun with it? We're in Canada. No, for sure. It Although might be a little it, bit over the top. I do think that the jokes might wear out. Though. Yes. Like, how many seasons can you go by this, with the same Canadian jokes? Yes. Well, there's so, only so many. We'll see what happens. Jokes, so. Much music. <laughs> that would be your box. I feel like, yeah, but I would kill that box. That's why I think it would be your box. I think you would. I think you mm -hmm. would kill it. I totally would kill it. I think it would. I can throw together an outfit. What box do you think I should get? If you were um, if you were there and you had to pick my box, what would my box be? Garbage box. Okay, but that's not that's not one of the options, girl. Garbage can. <laughs> Out of all those boxes, what would be my box? Oh, the pride one for sure. Oh, the yes. rainbow. Well, it's rainbow. all about a rainbow shit me out. I mean, that's how you should look. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, oh, and this one had yes. Anna Green Gables. And the fourth thing, but I didn't know what Anna Green Gables was. She never even heard of her, but she uh, knocked it out of the park. She did it. She did it. She did. It's, you know, I'm really going to watch her as we move along because she just kind of that wacky, crazy kind of character. Yeah. I love her. Yeah. She makes it work. Yeah. She, right away, we were like, oh my God, she's funny. Yeah. Like, she's so funny. Yes. Yeah. Oh. She's not afraid. Nope, not She's afraid. Let it out, Tana. Let it out. And then there's poor Lemon. Lemon gets a oh, sports box Lemon. and has no idea what any sports are. Lemon. However, I don't even know what she's holding up there. What is this that she's asking everybody what it is? is that I don't even know. Thing? Yeah, I don't even think that's a sports thing. I don't. I think it was the ribbon that tied the box. Up. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. She's like, what sports this from? Right. Yeah. Oh, here's Rita. Here's the Rita. Rita with Rita's her... Rita's like, died and gone to heaven. <laughs> She's like, literally... It's literally yes. a Jean-Baptiste Day box. It's like what you... It's full of, like, everything that's, like... Oh, and, and cheese curd. She gets cheese curds. I love curd. the cheese curds. And they're eating the cheese curds. Well, hi, I would that's what I would do. cheese curds. <laughs> Are they not feeding you on the set? Uh, Poor things. I've eaten all day. Oh. What do we think of how the the way the judging is? In what respect? Well, do you like the fact of... No. <laughs> I love it. I think it's great. I think it's a whole I, different angle. I hate different. it. I love that, I it. that the three of them decide. I hate it. I mean, I like that the three of them decide. I love that. I hate that there's like a, a guest host. That's a little funky for me. I don't know. I kind of think it's cool. It's it's like right. no yeah. one's really taking RuPaul's nobody cares place. what you think. No one's taking RuPaul's place. Well, Brooklyn, they well, no, she's not meant to take her place. She's meant to be another judge. But what I think is fantastic is that the guest host is sort of comes in and steps in and does the what RuPaul does. I'm not I a think huge it's fan. Great. I miss RuPaul. I, what can I say? I think that's the problem. Is well, I really miss it. It would be incredible if she was there. Yeah. It would be, so, would be good so good if she actually was there. It would be so but. good. So now we have the host. The guest host. I'm so excited. Alicia Cuthbert. And Although, she's doing all her introductions. She's a better guest great. judge. All right. So first we up, we have Anastasia. Yes, girl. Amazing. Okay. Like, Can we just say, uh, like, this is what I was saying before. Wow. It literally looks like something they would sell at Roots. 
Like it looks like well, something you could buy. Well, I don't think that's something you'd buy at Roots. I think it's fantastic. Oh, oh my god, it's gracious. She quilted it. Well, that's pretty crazy. I don't know how she did that. I don't even know either. I don't know. Like, like where, where did she, she get, get the stuffing that's what for I was just about about to say. <laughs> Where did you get stuffed from? These are the questions. It's crazy. It's crazy. But anyways, Gorge. Fantastic. I love but it. if it wasn't for this jacket, this would be a failed look. It's the coat that made it. It's the coat. It's the coat. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Definitely the coat. Definitely. My way to go, girl. Yes. Anybody who can do my that fave. is like my fave. Okay. All right. Now, here we have 50-50. Kiara. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan, I'm but I don't mind it. So, yeah, I'm the same. I was kind of like, mm, I'm not too sure. But it's it's very well put together. It's not falling apart. Like yeah. some, <laughs> and the hat. But she made the hat, and the hat blows my mind. And yeah. I've made a hat before, and it's very hard to do. Well, you have a big head. It's not easy. It's not an easy thing to do. Well, you're good. Um, but <laughs> I do appreciate the like. It's just it, you know. I think she she actually said in uh, a moment that it was like. Oh my god, it was just all glued. All glue going together. Yeah. Like, completely glued together. Well, like, it looks good. And I mean, it's like a prairie, and that's very prairie-like. So It's perfectly prairie. I'm 50, like, 50. there she is, the wheat, with yeah. the, you know, she kind of got a scarecrow yeah. thing going on. Yeah, I'm 50, 50. I love it. I love it. I think it's great. It's, Way to go, It's bro. definitely better than, the, than some of the other ones. And the hair. I love her hair. Yeah, it's really good. Way to go, Kiara. I love it. Okay, oh, now we, we have lemon. lemon, and Lemon Whoa. got the sport box. <laughs> I mean, I feel like this is probably probably your worst nightmare. If you were Lemon, no, but oh. Lemon, this would be your nightmare. Like I could tell that you know, I think she's very uncomfortable with the sports box, and she said yeah. she wasn't good with sports, didn't know yeah. anything about sports. But this look. What I think is funny is that she's using the hockey stick as a baseball bat. Well, that is funny. She added some humor. <laughs> she did that on purpose. Yeah. But she did some like anime. I think you know, look in with the with the wig and whatever yes. that is up there. Yeah. But the corset. That was my only oh. thing when I saw it. I was like, it's so loose. I think that's like exactly that's what, what I said when I was watching it. I was so like, loose. why is it so loose? Girl, but, that's not what I was thinking. You know, I was thinking, honey, did she not look in the mirror before she went on stage? I was like, okay. Oh like this, like it's the corset. Everything else is like, yeah. I think you could have had a lot of fun with it. And she did, but the corset. Yeah. I mean, she worked it. She worked the look that she it did. Was, what she put together. Yeah. And, you know, it just, but I think she knows, like they know. I mean, yeah. she was in the, the part of the bottom yeah. uh, two. Yeah. So, you know. Well, no, people don't know that yet. They don't know that yet. <laughs> They've watched it by now. And, like, she's yeah. wearing panties. And the, the half skirt. Thing. Like, lemon. But I love lemon. Yeah. Lemon I turns I love the some color. fantastic so, looks. She I does. Remember. No, okay. she does. And I do love me some lemon. Now, can we just talk about Ilona? Okay. Like, Ilona Verley... She looks like a goddess. Like she literally looks like some kind of like she walked out, just like owning the look from every freaking square inch of it. Like yeah, it's, she's so this, absolutely like, incredible. Is... <clears throat> so it's like a, a long like gown, but and she did the little pasties, uh, the orange pasties, which matched the hair, which matched the cover in her nips. Absolutely incredible. Well, this is not her. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen her in gray before. No, it's usually very monochromatic, but yeah. she did, she kept her monochromatics with the yes, hair and the and accessories. The accessories. Um, you know, the orange, keeping a yes. common palette of orange. A, a little, little bit of gray. I, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Gorgeous girl. girl. Gorgeous. Kind. Now I kind. have kind. Now, Kind has some issues with her balls. You know, I hate it when your balls drop. <laughs> her balls finally dropped. Oh my god. <laughs> Jokes for you. Mm -hmm. She's the ball of every joke. I get what she's she was the belle of the ball. She was. <laughs> you just. Oh, we'll be here all night. Now, balls, balls, balls across the board. <laughs> you get a ball, you get a ball, you get a ball. <laughs> now, I like 
what she was trying to do here. I think, yeah, you know, I think it was cute. Oh yeah. She did walk funny in this outfit. I think it's because of the balls. I think it was because yeah. of the balls. Her balls were hanging down to her feet. Yeah, they were they were <laughs> drooping. But I will say Low that's hangers. a bit, it is a bit lackluster. Well, I mean, for Drag Race. Like, I get where she's going. She's it's cute, I like it. Don't she's supposed wrong. to be very, like, disco, Diana Ross, yeah, which solid I think gold. She nailed. I love that. Which she did, like, she had it. But there is something about it yeah. that I feel could be, like, a notch up, a next level bump. Yeah, but when you compare like, this with, like, you know, the look for the prairies. First of all, the fact that she made this. Yeah, it's phenomenal. She made yeah. the outfit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She made a freaking jumpsuit, pantsuit, yeah. and glued balls on it. But what kind of glue did you use? Because those balls were <laughs> dropping. You know? Did you crazy glue that shit? Did you glue gun it? It's like, probably glue gun. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, all in all, the fact that she even made this, she made a, an actual jumpsuit yes. is fantastic. But this is where I want to see what else is in the box. Because it looked mm -hmm. like she was pulling out... Oh, all I know. Those, like so much stuff. That, yeah, it looks like all she used was the gold fabric and the box. Yeah, like I don't see any like real gold chains that you. I mean, I think. <gasps> Could you imagine just like yeah. chains? Oh, that would have been so good. Oh, but anyway, I love. Anyway, I love the yeah. hair. Makeup's great. Those damn balls, though. Yeah, it it just the balls. Yeah. Oh my. And look at just how she's walking. It's a little funky. It's a little, uh, didn't uh, Brooklyn say she looked like she just came from a grind right ago? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my okay. goodness. And here Scarlet she is. Scarlet Bobo. Our, our little Bobo. Oh my god. A little boo, -boo. Like, how incredible is this? So first of all, I mean, she's always gorgeous. So that's like... But it has this like... When I'm looking at it, it totally has this like... Uh, like total edgy sort of no doubty kind of vibe to it. It's got like a big old fuck you. I love it. I love it. You know, when I go to the Calgary Stampede, that's what I would want to see. I mean, she is a lot of yeah. fun. I think it would have been great if she did something on the back side. Like she has yeah. the B on the front. It would have been fun. Maybe it was like the O on the back. Yeah. Obo. I don't know. Would've but the fun. scarf, the use of the scarf yeah, to make all the, and the on their But arm. do you think it's too easy? <clears throat> ah! That's my question. Maybe, but, but it's, it's good. a cowboy outfit. Like, and it worked. How, like, mm, and it worked. Yeah, it totally did. Her necklace, I love her choker, is like rope and belt buckles. Is that what it's that is? so fucking cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, I love she's it. She's definitely Way to go, Bobo. Detail. Okay. Okay, and Jimbo. Jimbo. <laughs> I love Jimbo. First of all, Jimbo is a fellow Victorian. <laughs> That's right. Um, so I'm I love for Jimbo. I love Jimbo. I didn't love this outfit. I did not love this outfit. I feel like it was very, very. I don't know. Like I don't know. I just didn't like it. Listen, honey, I'm a girl of the rainbow. I get it. I love the rainbow colors. I think the detail and the amount of work that that went into making this, like hands down, I applaud you. I don't know, maybe it was the makeup, maybe it was the, you know, the corset kind of look. Yeah. It just wasn't doing it for me. I, on the other hand, think it's great. I mean, it's great rainbows. Detail. I love it. Like, the fact that he sewed together all those zippers and the pattern, it makes a pattern. Wow, oh, good. and now we have Tainomi. Tainomi Banks. And See, she, this is what you would sell it. Like, this Ruth. is freaking incredible like I, this i think this hands down is the best it's so cool looking like it's so i love the detail of it's all the, the socks, detail of all the socks and the lantern like. earrings yes like there was such yeah. great detail this is what i think was missing with the other outfits was that this had those little details now yeah. lemons if we get rid of you know what was happening here she had some great details. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. I, I don't know. I just I think this though this was all put together. This is what I would expect on Drag Race. Um, I also what I kind of notice about a look like this is that they've kind of used. It looks like they've used almost everything in the box. 
Like it looks like yes. they went into the box and they yeah, went yeah. socks. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's this yeah. lanterns. Let's put them on my yeah. ears. Let's yeah, you right. know, like I feel. Where else are you gonna put them? You know, no, I think very it's Yeah, really amazing. Ty know me. I love this it. is, I think, my favorite. Love, love, love of the night. Oh, and here we have Boa. I mean, you know, when I first okay, so I love Boa. I really yeah. do love Boa. Yeah, so do I. But I was like, what the heck is on her titties? <laughs> I didn't know those were potatoes. I kind of either. I was like, is it mashed potatoes? Mm. Why? Well, then, like, then I was like, is that on a chest plate? But I guess it's like a potato and then she put a ring, like a, an edge around it. You know, I really, I think, you know, Brooklyn might have said this, but like, this is all wrong, but all right at the same time. It's okay. so weird. Yeah. <clears throat> I think they're makeup's very, great. like, I get like, like poison ivy out yes. of it or something. Poison very, ivy. like. But I mean, I get it, like the ribbons, you know, the prize ribbons are yeah. all around the corset and yeah. the potatoes on her crown. It's the just wedges. so wrong. <laughs> like, can you imagine, this is what I love about her. Can you imagine a queen being like, I'm gonna put some potatoes on my titties. I'm gonna put some potatoes on my crown. I'm gonna have some ugly green bows for earrings. You know, like, but you know what it, it is? Work. Because she, yeah, yeah, she knows how to work it. She knows how to use it. It's all she. Yeah. She took an idea. She yeah. created the she idea, and then she built it around her personality. Okay. Okay. <laughs> juice box. Now I love Juice Box. I think Juice Box. She's incredible, and she's stunning, and is beyond beautiful. Yep. Yeah. But girl, I don't know what was in that box, but there had to have been more than some CDs in a piece of cloth. <laughs> I mean. No shade, but there's some shade. No like shade. I'm just saying, like, I'm just like, I was a bit shocked. And then, you know, you know, Derek Berry, that's who she reminds me of. Derek yeah. Berry. And you can take that however you want to take it. But I just thought, okay, she's a one trick pony. I know that's horrible. I'm just going to say it. I wish My, she, yes. I wish she, I, I would want to have seen what she could bring. Because I think she could bring more than this. Mm -hmm. But when I look at the first look where she looks like she's, you know, one of the angel girls. Oh, it was beautiful though. Beautiful. But then I kind of look at this and I think, okay, you kind of got the pretty girl look. That's it. Yeah, I mean, I wish, I like, again, I would so... love to see, I would love to see more of what is in the box. Because I saw Show video us your box. Tapes, videotapes and CDs and yeah. scrunchies. A scrunchie, like right away, scrunchie would scream 80s to me, and yeah. I would just take that and run away. Yeah, yeah. I think there's so you know, many things she could have done. Granted, I don't know if she, I don't think she sews. Yeah. So, you know, I feel like this is probably would have been what I would have done, but to I, be honest. I also really, really think, like, we don't really know what it feels like to be, but, girl, to be given a box full of crap and yeah, then they say you have to make an outfit out of it. Anyways, I do love juice box. I do. I think she's, I mean, she's so skinny. She's beautiful. And you know what? I I just think it would have been I'm sure she had way like so many more sick looks that could have been. Yeah. You know. And we have Priyanka who has crabs on her feet. She literally gl hot glue gun crab likes to her I know shit. and that's I thought that was brilliant I, it's, this is another one it's a, a total use of like the full package like I but feel like that she is like it. not a whole lot and it fell off it's a bra and panty to me it looks like the crab leg fell off yeah and she ate it and she picked it up and I ate can't it. even now I don't think Kine should have picked up one of her balls and eaten it but I think she could have, you know, picked up and played Ooh, with it, yeah, <laughs> juggled it, or something. played around and made it. Play. I, but that's like that's a, a, a great example of like a bra and panty. Yeah. But she worked it and she made it work. There was just a little bit of those details that I love. It's all in how you put it together. <clears throat> totally. Okay. <gasps> Rita and Baga. now my sis Rita Baga. Absolutely, like completely incredible. She could just. Be like that, and and I would I would vote Frozen. Her. I would vote for her. <laughs> I think um, no, she is brilliant. She okay. used the mitts to create this sort winter. of wrap thing. When you look the, at her, it's thing. winter. It's, it's cold. It's, it's very Quebec. cold. And if you've ever been there in the winter time, yeah, I have to because it's cold. Cold. Yeah. No, 
Um, and the frost on yeah. her eyelashes, the details. Yeah, it's so But good. again, you know, and this is somebody else who, when you look at this, you it looks like she used everything in the box. It looks like she was like, yes. oh, I want to do this with this yes. and this with this. She's not wearing a wig. Yes. She's wearing, like, a sculpture Skulls. on her head, which is <laughs> brilliant. Though. She's probably got uh, Kynes balls. <laughs> Can you imagine? Um, and then as she walks, she reveals... This okay. blue dress. Okay, but pause it for a second. Which, because listen, you go. What? No, I see. What are you saying about the blue dress? No, uh, I think that the dress is a very uh, easy, safe dress to make. I think it was very good, like how she put it together. You're so nice. But the thing is, is that this, the the look is about a look. It's not about one piece of the look. And I love that she takes it off and to elevated it by covering it with snow. Okay, personally... Putting the frost on it. I thought it was so cool. Personally, I think she just should have kept the coat on. <laughs> just keep the coat on. <laughs> Walk the runway in a cape and... Well, because I'm on. like, look at this. I, I love mean, it. I love it. I think... I love it. I, I love think Rita. it's absolutely brilliant. She what has, is that brilliant? She has, like, a dress on, a full outfit... Like, I well, know. I love it. I, I don't know it's if it's great. brilliant. I think, I think it's, it's not like woo. It's not the wow factor for sure. But I think if you just kept the coat on, <laughs> well, I don't know. I think, and it's cold out. Keep, I like it because it's she's the only one who had two parts. Like a reveal. True, true. She next I'll give you that. that. I'll give you that. She's the only one that came out and revealed like, oh, I made this cape and I have this dress. And then she upped the dress by putting Listen, like, I mean, it's a simple dress. It's easy for me to critique because I'm not on the show. Exactly. It and now we have the critiques Bola and the judges go too. through and they, they, you know, I think the, the, criti the critiques they gave were worth it. I think, oh, you know. Totally. And I, I, uh, they were they all very nice breaks. though. We need a Michelle Visage on this show. <laughs> yes. We need a Michelle. Yeah. But they took all the critiques gracefully, yeah. except for one. Even Got even the way Lemon's but... covering her body, you could tell she probably feels uncomfortable. Yeah. Like, she probably knows this isn't, like, okay, I didn't knock this one out of the park. No. Um, okay. And then we have... The ball dropper. Time. Poor she comes just, out and they <laughs> critique her and they make a bunch of ball jokes like we did. Yeah. Um, and that I think Brooklyn says <laughs> she, she just came from a grinder hookup. Yeah. But now Kind doesn't take too kindly to her critiques. Um, now, this just I know kills me. a lot of people have really come for her and her attitude. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I don't... What I think is... I don't think it was... I think she was very nasty. Like, she got very nasty. I'll say two things. One, editing. I think they edited the shit out of this. Exactly. Although you did say it. So, no matter what you do for editing, you said it, girl. Two. Yeah, you still said it. Yeah. Like, you're on TV. Like, yeah. if I was on TV, I would not be farting. I would be, like, I would be, like, the best <laughs> person I could possibly be. And I would be making sure that I don't say things that I'm not going to be saying. And if yeah. they critiqued me, I would be like, okay. I might be in my head going, well, screw you. But I'd be like, yeah. okay. I mean, I know she's uh, upset and probably doesn't maybe take critiques very well. Well, um, but I I did think the, the clap back was a little bit much. You do. I, think, you I do think, though, when you're creative... And in order to get onto Drag Race, you have to be that A-type personality that you're going to push people out of the way to climb to the top. And, you know, all these queens on the show have done that. In well, a, in, not in a negative way, yeah. but in a very positive. Like, they're all go-getters. Um, and sometimes ego gets the best of us. I also feel, too, um, at this point, you're on, you're on the show. You've yeah. made it onto the show that... You've been watching for years, and yeah. you know, you know that at this moment, they're going to come for you. Yeah. If there's anything that they want to get that reaction. You were walking down the yeah. runway, and your balls fell off. Yeah, it happens They're going to say something about it. Yeah. So you can't, you know, to clap back at them and, yeah. and be, 
a little bit disrespectful is I don't know. I don't think that's okay. But I mean, it's, I do like uh, her. I think she's no, totally. you know. You know what? It's showbiz though. This showbiz. You got to get people are gonna yeah. give it to you straight. But exactly. I think I do think um, you know. Fuck, I, I can't wait to see what she's gonna do. I know. I really me can't. Too. I can't wait. I'm excited to see her come. I think she's bit. very talented, and I think what she is is very confident, yes. like an extremely confident yes. person who, when told you've made a mistake, yeah. probably is hard for her. To and I think Brooklyn says this: there's like a fine line of being confident and arrogant. Oh, and as as yes. a growing artist, like she must be very young. Yeah, and as a growing artist, you're gonna, you know, yeah, stumble through that. Uh, now we are on to Boa, and they oh. love Boa because they love just, her. So weird. Yeah. But it's, I love it. They do a lot of. Now, this is editing. Yes. So we don't know if these reactions took place while Boa was yeah. saying the things she was saying. So we need to be careful yes. of this. Okay. Yes. But they did show Kind giving her such awful side eye when they yeah. were giving her compliments. Yeah. But again, well, we don't know. They're setting it up. It's foreshadowing. They're setting it up for the next exactly. scene. And I think I do. I could see kind though being like it's very, very obvious that. But we don't know if it's where it took place. It's fully. I think it happened there. right there. Of course, I think it do. was right there. Of course, you do. Um, and now we have we Rita, Rita yeah. and they love, love, of love course. her because you know what? She had the outfit. character. She had layers. Yes. She had levels. She's polished. Yes. She's. She's fantastic. She's so good. Like, She's so good. I don't know. I, Rita is going to go far in this. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised for top three. I I feel yeah. like Rita it has a polishedness yeah. to her that the yeah. rest don't. Oh, yeah. Oh, Juice Box. Juice Box. Juice Box. I mean, I you can tell she's uncomfortable. <laughs> like, I felt for her when when this was happening. I thought, oh, girl, I just want to go up there and just yeah. wrap you up. She, she has a moment. She has a little bit of a panic attack and she has to like take yeah. a minute after I like, think she gets a couple of critiques and maybe it's too much. But I feel for sure her because that. I think, you know, like, you know, none of us know that pressure because we're on no. the show. God, no. I think how horrible I felt so bad for her because I thought, you know, there's so many people that suffer from panic attacks. Yeah. And here you have somebody that's on TV being filmed. They already filmed her falling. Like, they've already setting her up for this, like... Yeah. I'm just like, oh, girl. Like, I just felt so bad for her. Yeah. Um, no, I think... And you don't see that in any of the drag races. Like, I feel like this had, like, a bit of a blooper thing to it, which I was kind of saddened yeah. by. Because all the other RuPaul drag race shows are very polished. They are. Very flawless. You don't see... Very, I didn't see Kim yeah. Chi fall... Kim, uh, uh -huh. Kim Chi fall all oh the my time. God. And that girl can't walk. So, <laughs> I mean... Anyways, I felt for her. I also felt like, okay, now they're trying to make it into something. Yeah. I thought, okay, this is a moment. They're going to, you know, okay, here we go. Play that. Bring her, yeah. her jacket. Like, yeah. yeah. So then they go back to their uh, backstage where they're all together. And they're yeah. being filmed. It's kind of like the, it's, this is like the new sort of untucked. I think it actually says untucked on the bottom in the corner that says untucked. Um, yeah, I'm assuming they probably have an untucked somewhere like so a, it's kind of their moment where they're yeah. all sitting together and you know the 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 bot tops and bottoms come back to the safes and they're all together yeah. talking and our friend kind is not so, so kind, kind. <laughs> she has a bit of a meltdown i don't know she's it's very loud she's very upset it's episode one okay I, episode it one <laughs> if the if i could only imagine the producers Behind the scenes are like, yes, gold, yes. gold. They're like, if this is one, can you imagine what oh my God. Like, five is going to be? Oh, my God. Yeah. But she but basically. I think she played it up, too. I do feel like maybe she played it up. Yeah. She knew she was on TV. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but she gets very aggressive and very upset and uh, yelling at uh, the fact that Boa got such great critiques. Yeah, like... And she did not. And it just... You know, I get it. I get that you might have those feelings. Keep those feelings aside. But there was a moment where people are talking about bullying and stuff. But I honestly... The fact that she stood up and yelled out 
um, I can't remember exactly, don't quote me, but how she was like, I lost or we lost to Boa. Can you believe it? Like, I just was like, whoa, that's <clears throat> too far. But you know what? That's too far. They did that when Boa walked in. When Boa walked in, all of the Toronto girls went, oh my God, I can't believe this mess is here. Yeah. Boa, you know, like all of us have probably made mistakes in our lives and, and I feel like they were all doing that to her and, and kind of, but I think in that moment to have yelled it out like that when she's celebrating yeah. a win I think and it's feeling good. confident and feeling yeah. good and feeling, you know, proud of herself yeah. to have gotten that far and been on the show yeah. and now she's in this position and this person is shouting at her like, yeah. like this, like when you, like this is like a season or uh, episode three fight yeah it's crazy it's like, like episode she one yells and and, and like, jumps up yeah yeah and i'm shocked and everybody that, is just literally sitting there and now like, this has been edited but who knows but i'm shocked that alona wasn't in there i'm shocked that I read his face I like i'm reading. shocked that these queens like there weren't queens that were like hold on i like, know scarlet right? i thought oh scarlet oh girl would have go get her popped clapped in there or but something. nothing yeah, yeah. nothing but you know what? Congratulations to Boa. You know what? You killed it, girl. That's what That's I'm talking about. I love the like underdog, yeah. like, you know, go on your girl. It's good for her. Okay, so now they have chosen the bottom two. <sighs> yes. Bottom two. Had to be done. Ha there always has to be the bottom two. Chop. There always has to be yeah. a bottom two. Unfortunately, it is. Juice box. Juice box and lemon. Are we waiting for me? And lemon. I'm sorry. So I wasn't sure. Juice box and lemon. Now I wore my wig um, in memory of lemon. No, I'm just kidding. In memory I'm of just lemon. kidding. I love yellow. Um, but yeah, juice box and lemon were the bottom two. And do you feel like those were the right ones? No. Uh, what? Who? Oh, sorry. Please, girl. Who? Um, I definitely don't think that lemon should have been there because. Hear me out. Mm -hmm. Because the only thing I found wrong with Lemon's look was her was the corset just should have been tighter. I feel like if that corset was tighter, oh it would have been actually a great look. There should have been no corset. Did anything fall off of her costume? Okay, listen. She constructed <laughs> an a look. Constructed. She had a look. It was a bad look. But I honestly, was bad. I don't, I believe kind should have been with. But are you basing that on her look and her photograph? Or are you basing it on her behavior? No, I'm basing it off of, well, for me. I mean, kind won the mini challenge. Yes, but should she have? Well, well that's, she have. no, I agree. I don't think she should have. But based on this, she won the mini challenge. And now based on her outfit. If based on show runnings what whatnot yes but i think lemon had a better photo so i think lemon should have won the photo and i think that when it comes to their outfits there it says something when you're walking down the runway that you've made something that starts falling apart nothing fell apart oh, of God, those damn balls because you got to get there has to be when a line what is this? Right? So what's there's got to be a line of like of what is don't you think? I don't know. I think these are the right two to yeah, be Yeah, I know. You hate the two of them, so. I don't hate <laughs> them. I love them. I think they're so amazing and talented. However, you know, I think Juicebox's photo is meh. Unless you're like a hell's, like one of those, you know, angel girls. Yeah. Sure. Um, Victor uh, Victoria's Secret girls, yeah. as I was thinking. Uh, so I was kind of like, meh. I think her look was horrible. Like, definitely should be in the bottom just for that. Lemon, I thought her photo was okay, but her outfit was horrible. And when you look at all of the other girls, definitely kind, definitely her balls were falling off. I get that. But she won the mini challenge. So how can you put the person who won the mini challenge as one of the worst ones to be up for her elimination? Because her outfit was falling apart. But she looked good. If those balls weren't falling apart, I mean, the way she sewed it all together, what's the corset? So the winner of the first main challenge is Rita, Rita Bega. Yes. Like no surprise. So deserved. Yeah. So Hands polished. Down. Hands down. Absolutely. But love, 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 love. I can't she sustain this. I mean, we're only one episode. 
but, exactly. but there's a lot of pressure here. There is. Yeah. But I also feel, I feel like she's going to go pretty far. Congratulations to Rita yes, Baga. Congrats. There you go. Historical moments yes. today. So Kine wins yes. the mini challenge. Yep. Rita wins the main challenge. Yep. It's fantastic. Yeah, I think it's great. Well, so, done. well done, ladies. Um, yeah. All right. Okay. So the lip sync. The lip sync. Let's talk about this. I think, I think they both did a great job. I think actually. it actually could have been a double save. Yeah, I mean, I thought I, really do. I thought they broke they they broke they both brought it. They did. Um, and uh, so um, they they lip synced to Carly Rae Jepsen. Yeah. I really, 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 really like you. Yeah. Um, fabulous song. Just a little love her. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they, in my opinion, I they both killed it. Like, if there was ever going to be a double save, I could totally have seen that, but. Yeah. It can't always be that way. I agree. And unfortunately, uh, uh, little we, juice box. Juice box. We have to say goodbye to juice box but, this week. You know, I think, I think it's, I think it's hard. I think they edited it that way as well. Like we yeah. saw her fall. We saw, you know, the outfit. I think, I think just the outfit alone. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I, and I'm sure juice box is at home going, you know, and when she was off the show thinking I should have done more of that outfit. It's always yeah. the hardest to be the first one to go. But honey, so was Vanji. Vanji was the first one to go. Yes, right now. hello. She's like so, the biggest star out of Drag Race. Pretty yeah. Much. So don't. Uh, I hope you're keeping your chin up. I think. I think just to be on the show is phenomenal. And well, that's the thing. Applaud I mean, how many people across Canada applied to be in this? You were handpicked. Yeah. And like, there's always a first. There's always a first to go. Always Somebody has had to, to be go. a first. All right. So, so that's it. Um, that's our first Tuck Tuck review of, of the Canada's, Canada's Drag yes. Race. Canada's Drag Race. Um, we're going to do this every week. I'm super excited to do this. It's so much fun. I hope you loved it. So it's coming out every week on Saturday. Yes. This one's coming out on Sunday yes. um, as the first one. But moving forward, we're going to be with you um, so subscribe to our channel. Yes. And, um, every Saturday it'll be tuck tuck time. And we're not just doing drag race. We're doing Oh no, we're going to do things. lots. We're going to so, cover lots of good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Juiciness. So, like this, subscribe to it, and comment if there's anything that you would love to see us review. Because that would be really good. Too. That would be good. So, yeah. So, for now, thank you so much for joining us. This is Gloria Hall, Miss Gloria Hall, and I'm Mina Mercury. And thank you so much for being here. And we will talk to you real soon. Stay safe, everyone. Bye.